States of America that breed children in order to sell them. Mm -hmm. And when they are sold, they come without birth certificates, which means it's easier to kill them and have no one ask where they are. We're also importing children by the plane load. Again, children who have no documentation. It's not just child slavery or child sex abuse. It's also child torture because you have adrenalized blood. You, you have the, the whole blood drinking ceremony of the satanic world. It's also the uh, use of children for harvesting body organs. We'll have the Falun Gong uh, testimony tomorrow. Um, one of the reasons that the Falun Gong are so popular is because they're so healthy uh, so that you can harvest their body organs uh, with, and, get, and get the very best. And then you have ritual ceremonies and ritual murder uh, as well as incidental murder. Um, but I know the system. I've been a spy all over the world. I have uh, created the Marine Corps Intelligence Command. Uh, I have trained um, intelligence and law enforcement representatives, over 8,000 of them from across 66 countries. They are all, without exception, good people trapped in a bad system. And one of the most wonderful things that this court could achieve now that we've had Pizzagate for example, which opened people's mind, is we could achieve a, an opening of the public mind and an absolute imperative from the public to governments, including the U.S. government, which I think is the center of gravity in, in so many ways. I have found in my research and preparation for this court and all of the work that will follow that most organizations that end up being um, used to prey on children Oxfam is a recent example. Uh, all of the United Nations organizations, the Boy Scouts of America, all of the child services agencies across the United States of America, they did not start out as organizations to prey on children, but they attract pedophiles. And ultimately,